Tactical shooter Rainbow Six Siege has seen a resurgence of late. Thanks to a steady stream of updates to fix the game's core issues at launch, coupled with consistent content drops, it's become one of the more popular multiplayer games around. Operation Grim Sky builds on this. In case you didn't know, Rainbow Six Siege Operation Grim Sky is a new season of downloadable content for Rainbow Six Siege. It brings two new operators and a reworked Hereford map. Here's what you need to know when the downloadable content hits. You can play Rainbow Six Siege Operation Grimsky right now on PC as it's available on the game's test servers. There's no concrete release date for Operation Grimsky just yet, but if we go by Ubisoft's past history, you can expect it on September 3 or September 4. And with a new season of content also comes two new operators. Clash brings an electrified riot shield to the battle, being the first Rainbow Six Siege defender with a shield. Although other first-person shooters offer a variety of champion or hero choices, the specific role that Clash fulfills is her ability to dictate the pace of the game. She baits foes into making mistakes and slowing down their movements and drawing their aggro. It really underlines the developer's thought process on how Rainbow Six Siege's metagame would evolve in the months to come. Maverick carries a blowtorch to burn minuscule holes into soft walls, ceilings and floors, chiefly to peer into and gain intel before coordinating an attack. Maverick's personality is described as solemn, pensive, isolated, and analytical. These are the kind of qualities expected of the people that would ideally play as him. With 42 operators, including Clash and Maverick, it's really tough for newbies to know what to expect when they play Rainbow Six Siege. It's tough to know what operators to pick. With that in mind, Ubisoft senior designer David Romero has told us which characters you should pick if you're playing Rainbow Six Siege for the first time. For defenders, your best options are Rook whose armoured vest can play safe. Valkyrie is also a great option because of the advantage with surveillance cameras and because they're hard to spot. Legion for the invisible mines that poison attackers, Mute whose gadgets disrupt communications and disable drones, and Jaeger whose gadget disables projectiles. The best operators for attackers include Sledge who can destroy soft walls with his huge hammer, Fuse who can throw five cluster charges through small spaces, Lion whose drone marks enemy positions, Thermite, who is a breach specialist, and Thatcher, whose EMP disables defender gadgets, even through walls. Although present in the game since 2015, Ubisoft has reworked the Hereford map with the help of the community. This World War II era industrial facility sports a red brick exterior with an interior designed with the help of professional esports players. The interior of this siege map has been tailored to ensure verticality plays a major role. Each floor looks and feels distinct, with strategic points such as those allowing a swift ambush or exit from a firefight are easily identifiable. Operation Grimsky is yet another addition to a game that's grown from, according to Ubisoft, 25 million registered players in December 2017 to 35 million in June 2018. With no plans for a sequel and a 10-year vision for the game, it's shaping up to be a pretty good option for those looking to play a tactical shooter. Thanks for watching this video. For all things gaming and tech, you're ready at the right place at gadget360.com.